What's going on people today? We are back with Bradley from Fight Club. What are you on about? What's going on people today? We are Brad Bradley. What's going on people today? We're back with Bradley from Fight Perfect and we are going to be doing the Philly show on Crossguard. Yes we are Jason, we are indeed. Um, on the old channel I had a lot of people asking, uh, well basically I put a spine video about me doing some, I think that's sort of ridiculous, like 12 rounds with a professional boxer. And then um, I always start off here and then as I get more and more comfortable uh, through the rounds, I always drop my lead hand. I end up doing like a variation of the Philly shell and then when I pressure people, I sort of come back for a cross guy. And I only do this in boxing. I, I sometimes do it in MMA, but when I do it in MMA, I have a bit more varied. So instead of being here side on, I stand a little bit more square on here because I've got a block for kicks. It's ball for takedowns. And I sort of hang my hand low here, a bit more like Carl Froch. Rather than uh, James Tinn, please show. I have it down here, but today I'm going to talk you through why I think it's good, how it works, or how I use it, and how I think it works. I'm sure there's guys out there who are masters of it and you couldn't hit me. Like, before we made whether James Tinn, this everyone can do it, that is at that level. But first of all, I'm going to show you what I do, how I think it works, and how I hope it works. And you can compare it later on. You can put some nasty comments down saying that's wrong, Tai Chi Chu. You should use an hour, an hour Hindi block. Chinese masters and never never land Peter Pan and all those other people that <laughs> So once again, so from here, I'm sorry I keep saying so as well, I just use that as like a, a joining word. Normally it's right. like <laughs> Here we are then guys. Do you think so? Here we are then guys. I'm about to show you why and how I use it. So if Joe's attacking me now, he's not gonna put you just yet, I'm talking for it. That winds me up. <laughs> right, so from here guys. He starts throwing punches, I can use my normal guard, block in, I can still slip, fire stuff back. Now with the, my lower guard here, I like this, I, I feel like it hides my jab more. So when it's here, I find it harder there, and I can sort of like pick more gaps between Joe's guard. Now I find if I just jab straight on, I hit gloves. But if I got my hand a bit lower, I can start coming up, coming over, and turning. I get more angles on it. That means I have less arms to defend. But what I do to make up for that is I use my shoulder and I use this hand as block. So we go here to here, all right? So for instance, if Joe throws a straight right at me, slowly, I'll tap it down, come over the top, and I throw it fast, boom. One count, I do it three times slow. One, two, three. So I parry it down, right? If Joe throws the jab at me, I'll just dip on the inside. Throws another jab, parry with the right. And again, and again. All right, for boxing, that's the one you see Mayweather do a lot. Now throw a jab, boom. Canelo done a real good one the other day. You throw a jab, you twist it, you come straight back. But as you twist to come back with this move, watch what happens on the other hand. That's what Tai Chi Chi looks like when you speed it up. So he throws that jab, bam! Crack, even though one and then they're like, crack, son, then they're like, man, son. So there we have it, there's a few basic moves I'm gonna show you in this position, but there's a few more I'm gonna run through right now. First of all, I've showed you the low hand, this hand here, right, this is quite good. What if Jerry throws a body shot with the left hook? Someone's saying in the background. So he throws the left hook to my body, I can drop. I still use this hand again, drop it. Oh, what if he throws the right hand from there? Hey, block here, boom, I can counter. What if he doesn't throw a backhand and you're really, really good at reacting like me? He throws the body shot, boom! Straight in, he throws it again, I drop, and I use this momentum and I drop. I use the power he hits me to propel back up. But watch carefully again, as he hooks through, super small more. So he hits me, I drop, and I counter, this hand comes up to protect me. Here, boom. Here, right? I know this is quite a technical video, but so many of you have asked for it. What if he throws a big right hook? Well, if he throws it to the body, this is where you get all nasty neck. Right, if he throws it, boom, I bring my elbow back. And again, boom. Now what if he tries throwing a big loopy one? Same again, if he throws a loopy one to the body, I actually bring my forearm down. So I go like this. It feels like I make a huge shield using my arm. If he throws a big one to my head, Simples. He throws a big one on my head, he hits me. Oh, yeah, I eat the poo poo, that's the one. He does it again, I just drop, here. Right? Another one that's not so good in the spine, it's a really super effective move. You don't make many friends. 
As you listen, same move again. Pop my elbow up. And that's what's going to lead us into now the little cross, cross guard technique. So I've got a tall cross guard by my old boxing coach, Mark Kemp. Great boxing coach. He's responsible for Nicky Blackwell, the youngest ever English champion and the British middleweight champion. He's a great coach. Now, he actually taught me this in a real hobble teaching manner. It was Brad, you jab me, and that's all you can do, and you do what I want. So, <laughs> so he knew what I was going to do. He lit my ass at a Christmas tree using whatever he felt, whatever he wanted. <laughs> Boom. Bad language, we don't swear on this channel because it's Joe's in the rage. PG. PG. <laughs> Parental guidance. Of course, kind of fit I go from here and I, and I come up here. Now, I can use this in a few ways. I like to use this to reach here. Block punches here, and I also like it for wrestling. I come in, get the underhooks here, underhook there, elbow, like can use other strikes. I also find it very hard for my opponents to land decent punches on me because I can use my longer arms here. Now you see um, Vladimir make Klitschko, he leaves his arms out. When he retreats from here, he leaves his arms out. It makes it hard for his opponents to land power shots. Now I'm going to show you a few more reasons why I'm with Joe's thing here. So I'm here with Joe. Now, when I come in, I also like using this for pressure. So if I want to close Joe down now, I'll start here. I'll start using these to close the punches. Boom, 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 cover here, two counters. Then that's when I close the distance. When I close the distance, I come in here and I block his hands immediately. All right? Here, block. A lot of you, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of when chunk guys say, yeah, but I'll just simply go. It doesn't always work like that, especially when you're wearing gloves. But I have seen when the guys do something very similar, so I do appreciate the fact that it can work. Just the Tai Chi version doesn't. All right? So from here, I'll make a fake and then make a cover. Now from here, you try to throw any right hand combination. Here, 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 here. Silver. <laughs> this is all real technical stuff, guys. It looks simple now because I've done it for a long time and Joe's half my size. But if it was the other way around, it wouldn't be as simple. But it takes practice, like everything does. So from here now, how do I attack from here, you might ask? Okay, I've got quite a few little attacks from here. I can come in here, the one I do like, you see how I've got his lead hand here? I come forward here, that's one. I tap it down, two. Now if he's a good striker, as I tap this down, that will come across his face and protect him, here. And that's when I'll throw a combat. You've always got to think one step ahead. From here once again, if he throws, for instance, Straight right, boom. I can count that from a closer distance. It's very difficult, if, even if I'm here, all right, and Joe wants to throw a right hook to the body, that's the block. And again, look how simple that is. Now, if he goes that and see if he's done a right hook, and one in the head afterwards. Look how simple that is. Boom. You can raise that distance. For all you MMA guys out there, I'll show you the little underhook technique. So I come from here, bang, we come in here. If he starts throwing anything in the right hand now, here. That's my right underhook, my left underhook, sorry. Here, I'm right, starting to come in. Ooh. Son. Into my garage. Well, welcome to my quarters. <laughs> you should do way of life. So I hope I give you a brief, brief intro to how I use it. We're gonna do more videos on drills to do with this. I wouldn't say it's a beginner friendly, but if you do get the opportunity to try it, it's literally just here, sit, relax. Don't drill this fast. I see a lot of guys go, right, get in that corner, geez. Light up their sights. You ready, mate? You don't have to punch me back to the block. <laughs> Throw like a 30 piece Canelo combo, the guy's unconscious. I didn't learn shit. Take your time, practice drill by drill. For instance, so I'll give you a quick, a quick one now. I feel generous. So if you leave his throws, jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. And again, jab, cross, hook. Real simple. He throws the right hook to the body. Boom, there's a counter. And again, boom, he throws the left hook to the body. Boom. And again, if you're real funky, throws the left hook to the body. And it's the silver, baby. I block it, and I come in. There you have it, guys. Please like, subscribe, share, leave comments in there. Ask us what you want us to do next. Don't be scared. Don't ask for dick pics or anything like that, because Joe's not game for it, because obviously I am. So, <laughs> not really. Let us know what you want. We're your beck and call. We're here to show you everything you want to know. Please don't ask me for too much fancy stuff, because I just can't simply do it. I'm just not very athletic. But when it comes to striking and basic stuff, I can help you out. I'll show you all the drills I've seen the pros use, from the worst guys in the gym to the best guys in the gym. Share us, tell your friends how amazing we are, especially the women, if they're good looking. If they're not, then just...
Tell them to go to the gym, become good. That's nursing. No fat shaming. Like and subscribe, please share, guys. Peace out, son.